the S7, the new digital combine. digital combine and it's got that name for a reason so let's go and take a look so these combines are fitted with the x9 cab so improving the operator experience they have a luxury luxury leather steering wheel um, leather seats ventilated seats you even get a massage and the digital combine yes it has so many innovative ideas stacked up onto it it has ground speed automation which we've seen on earlier it's also got predictive harvesting so it's got cameras on the front combined with biomass maps which allows it to uh, adjust the speed forward and backwards to feed the crop in. All you have to do is set your grain losses and a few other things and this combine will drive it for you. So this is brilliant for a less experienced operator, someone that doesn't really know how to operate the combine settings. Um, it's also good because no one is ever going to sit in these combines all day and get the full capacity out of them. But this machine can do it. It reduces operator fatigue. So all the tech that uh, we have new, we have on the machine. Yes. So that's on the one hand predictive ground speed automation. So the uh, control of the forward speed of the machine. What? What? So for predictive ground speed automation, you can tell the machine your ground speed limit. So we have that currently on six. Okay. So the machine won't run faster than six, which is okay. Yeah. And then uh, we have our uh, engine power limit. So that's currently on 93. And so the machine will then, so the machine will then always run or try to run close to the engine power limit yep. or to the maximum speed. Okay. So That's predictive ground speed automation. Yes. Uh, the two major inputs for the system are on the one hand the stereo cameras mounted yes. on the cap roof. So we have two on each side two stereo cameras scanning the crop in front of the header. So measuring the height. Is it? Correct. Uh, so they measure the height and they can detect down drop. Yes. And if they detect down drop, they will reduce the speed. Right. So that's one thing. And then also we have the predictive yield map loaded on the machine. Ah. So if you zoom out a little bit, you can see like the background layer here. That's your predictive yield map that you get through the satellites. Oh, it's pretty accurate. Yeah. So they send the biomass map on the machine. <laughs> Is it not? detecting what's in front of it here we've got the predicted biomass map behind it so that is what the satellite is predicting and then that's what actually is there so you're using data from the satellite and the cameras combined and the combine will control the forward speed but with the cameras you don't have to do anything and then if we go out of here you set your limits to six kilometers an hour max your speed of 93% on engine. Engine, engine, engine load. Engine yes. load. You can go up to 105. Okay. Again, we've got the two G uh, S5 screen displays with 33% more touchscreen, making it more operator friendly, easier to use, more vision, more things to look at. We've got our, well, same things over here that you can see on the combines at home. We're running it, we're running actually 18.8s at home, so okay. pretty similar. Yeah. Would you say there's an advantage of having these headers? Is this yeah. the RF 
Um, oh, so that's the RDF. So Richard Draper with the flex cutter bar. Uh, good. Yeah. Benefits. I, yes. So anyway, with the Draper, no matter if it's RDF or HDX, um, just more even feeding of the machine. Yes. So higher throughputs, uh, lower losses because of the more even feeding and also um, lower fuel consumption. So what's also new about automation is the settings automation. Yeah. I will explain you that a little okay, bit when we go back. Yes. Uh, what's the break? Uh, Maybe we we better. better. Yeah. <laughs> so hard settings automation is the automatic optimizing of the machine. Yeah. So we have three limits or targets that we set brain loss for material from brain. But the numbers here that I use that you see, those are not percentages, they are just values. Right. Um, brain loss for material and broken brain. On the left here, those are your limits or targets, and on the right here, those are your current values. Okay, so your target is 1.5 and you're currently running at yes, 1.2 correct. For, for a material. Yes, correct. If you want to change, for example, for a material or broken brain, yeah. um, you just check the brain tank or you can look at the brain quality camera. So this is the... Um, grain cameras, so detecting the quality of the grain. So where are they mounted? On the... Clean grain green, elevator. Clean grain elevator. And the tailings. And the tailings. So you can see what's coming in, what's coming out. And the... Oh, so the the green is light. The yellow is heavy. Unthrashed and broken. Oh, amazing. That's pretty... That's pretty... Yeah. Um, forward. You see that? 1% loss. Ah, so we put in our values and it's now given us a new loss limit. Save. And then it's changed there. So these are the values you put in for your grain loss, for a material broken grain. This is what you are actually running at. Yeah. So this is how the combine projects it for you. I can feel we're going up a hill and it's slowed down slightly. That's the predictive uh, ground speed automation. But this basically is running the combine for you. You don't need to do anything. All you need to do, sit back, relax, and have a massage. <laughs> Using this nudging tool, I can set where I want it to go. Adjust my spout on the on the reel underneath. Yeah, right. 
is amazing you can see everything it, it, it's just brilliant um, this is also a rotor design a single rotor design come which has come from the x9 cab um, which is performs amazingly so it means you can combine so many crops or all with the same combine yes there is also Apple CarPlay I even saw that you can put teams through it so those of you that say that is your office it definitely is. You can teams from it now. You can have your office in the cab. Massage seat, well, it keeps your muscles alive, keeps you going when you're sat in these equi this, this equipment for, you know, 16, 20 hour days every day. So having that massage seat is a bit of a luxury. Mm -hmm. 